me for the day. And I know no one cares about the weather. I know no one asked, but I'm just so happy because there is some blue in the sky right now. Monica and I were both talking about how we fully expected another rainy day, but look at that. Look at that. You just, you love to see it. And I'm sorry I haven't gotten a chance to grab a new lens yet. I'm in denial about it. <laughs> I'm gonna be editing this vlog and be like, oh my God, I need it. But I just don't feel like spending the money on something that I already have, but I should because I mean, it just looks fucked up, really. Okay, anyway, so first thing we're doing today, I have to make this Instagram story for Brooklyn in. Obsessed, obsessed with these sheets. They're like cooling. So I'm a hot sleeper and I've been sleeping so much better since I got them. So let's, let's go. I've been using the sheets, but I didn't put the duvet cover on yet. So we're gonna do that. with me my bedding is about to look like a freaking hotel because of this steamer i'm excited like normally i wouldn't go this extra mile on a weekday but because i am recording this for a sponsor thing i feel like it looks more professional if the sheets are like you know steams so we're doing it and i'm excited like i've been wanting to do this i just haven't like gotten around to it this is a nice it seems like nice quality I went with the chi one because the hair straighteners are good. <laughs> it's like, this must be good. Wonderful. This bad boy, try. Okay. Oh yeah, this is working. You'll do like half of Check it out. Steam side so far looking good. And then the still wrinkly side and the scratch on the lens. Perfect. This could be a for like an Airbnb now. <laughs> this is the best I've ever made a bed ever. This is a skill that I needed. Okay. Let's see here. It's gonna be a two cups of coffee kind of day. I've only been having one espresso shot in the morning when I normally have two, but I'm gonna have a second one today because the jet lag keeps hitting me at 6 p.m. and I need to stay awake for this concert. <laughs> I'm not mad about this at all. Love having coffee. Monica is stopping by really quick to pick up some of our friends that live in the building. She's actually going to the concert too with them. I didn't even realize. I was like, oh my God, I'm going too, which is so funny. So we'll probably all see each other, but I wanted to give her my souvenir. You guys are probably like, why aren't you all going together? But basically me and my friend Kirsten and some of our other friends, we booked, we got tickets a long time ago. And then obviously they couldn't get the same section. So we just didn't coordinate, but that's it. <laughs> anyway, so I got Monica while I was in Switzerland. She loves golf and I got her this little golf ball set. It's in Switzerland and it has some tees. And I just think it's really funny. <laughs> I feel like she'll actually use them. Let's go get it. Check it out. <laughs> I feel like you'll think it's funny. <laughs> wow. Oh, I think she liked it. I think she's gonna use them. So I'm about to get the outro for my European skiing video and I wanna look like themed. So I put my like ski jacket on and then I'm gonna have my skis in the background there and maybe my boots on the chair. Let's see. Boots. I'm just put them over here. Set. So here's how the shot looks. I'll be sitting there and then they'll just be chilling. Oh no, oh, mm, nope, nope, we're good. Okay. So it's like extra effort to get this stuff out, but I was going to use it for the thumbnail anyway, at least the skis, so might as well. I like the background, I'm happy with this. Okay, all right. So I'm back in the US now and have reflected on, oh, get that. So one thing I forgot to add is that one thing, but... Okay, well, it's time to go. Weird lighting. It's about time to go get dinner before we head to the concerts. And let's go. I'm getting ready at a weird time. Honestly, I was so 
tired this morning after the John Mayer concert. I just, I got to sleep a lot later than I normally do. And so I've been feeling physically not so amazing today because of that. But okay, now I got a workout in, ate some good food. So I feel like way more energized. Oh my gosh. Got a really solid edit session in this morning. Like really, really productive morning. And now it's about to be like the afternoon. I am just so looking forward to going to Palm Springs next week. I am going, I'm not exactly sure what is going to end up happening. I've invited some people to come, but I don't know if they'll be able to make it. And honestly, I'm good either way because as fun as it is hosting people at the house, like I love to, I am not productive at all when I'm hosting people. And I'm kind of craving just being at the house by myself to get all the video shots I want, like I want to make a video about how the house is doing in 2023 versus 2022. That house, it's just really small and when you're hosting people, I, I really can't make a video. I feel like I almost can't even edit because you can hear what's going on in the living room and like, yeah. So I don't know. I kind of think I'm just going to end up going solo, which will be really, really nice. I'll have the time to like get every video shot I want without anyone moving something in a brand random ass place and like it just sounds nice I don't know like a solo staycation at my house but I'm gonna visit my parents too that's like the fun thing I'll probably honestly sleep at their house but go to my house during the day to work and yeah I actually have I feel like I'm just always tempted to when I go there though I just invite I just throw out the invite because why not like it's always fun when people come but I am going like in the middle of the week between Coachella weekends it's kind of an odd time for someone to drive over like there would be a lot of traffic probably for so someone coming from LA so I don't know we'll see but yeah oh I also have a couple of things that I just want to do in terms of projects around the house there are some areas that the paint kind of needs to be stripped and redone outside i want to get some landscape lights like those are things that i really want to just spend an afternoon doing and i haven't really gotten the chance to and i wouldn't really end up doing that i i don't do like housework when i'm hosting people but i would love to actually do that like to me it's so satisfying and fun making the house better i just i love it so i'm hyped for that it's kind of a nice day out today, but just trying to get as much done here as I can while I am here. I feel super ahead on things, which is fantastic. Just editing right now, feeling kind of overwhelmed. Move the move and editing and blah, blah, blah. but I just booked movers. As you know, I'm moving out of this apartment and I'm pretty excited about it because it's just gonna be like paying such less rent crazy inexpensive for seattle like way way less and that's nice because you guys know i travel so much anyway like why would i even spend that much the only thing that's gonna be a little difficult is not having amazing lighting like the bedroom my bedroom there isn't the best lighting for filming and everything but i look through my videos and i'm like i really don't film at home that much so many of my videos are out and about like interviewing people doing experiences and reviewing them and so i don't think it's gonna be too big of an issue honestly but definitely won't be a long-term thing for that reason like i think it will be really fun for the summer because seattle is, it's the best in the summer i think it would be so stupid to leave <laughs> honestly it would be really dumb to leave now because it's about to get so nice here and there's so much more fun things to do in the summer there's one other thing i'm kind of nervous about and that's not living alone anymore like i fucking love living alone now and it's just it's just amazing i just love it i feel like having so much time to myself like my brain is so much clearer feels so good living alone i feel like i have more energy because i'm able to have so much time to dedicate just to myself to getting my work done to working out no distractions and i've learned to really enjoy it like i pretty much always have a podcast on or something that's like intellectually stimulating and interesting to listen to so i really never feel lonely because you know i've got like plans on the calendar and things going on although i do spend probably like to 90 percent of my time literally alone that's how it is when you work and live alone but i've come to actually love it and i feel like when i am with people too i'm my best self because i have the energy and like the mental space 
to be with them and want to be with them. Whereas I think in the past, when I stretch myself too thin and have had roommates and then I'm hanging out with people and I feel like I haven't had my time to myself literally take care of myself without distractions and not have to think about anyone else's bullshit. Like, I feel like I just enjoy hanging out with people more now that I live alone. Like, everything about it, I also feel so much more in tune with my intuition and just like, what I want out of life like literally I feel like I can make decisions so much easier because I don't have any other anyone's other mental chatter really going into my head things like it was so easy to decide where to move it was so easy and I think it's because of spending time alone I think it has been great for me and so not living alone might be hard like it is always fun to have roommates especially ones that you like but I loved living alone and so I'm like oh my gosh like it's gonna be weird when I'm filming something and a dog bar or someone makes a noise and I'm like, oh damn, like I don't live alone anymore. But I think the trade-off will be worth it. Like paying very little in rent and traveling low-key guilt-free because I know I'm not like wasting money on an expensive apartment will be awesome. So I am excited now to, to edit. All right, I've got a good amount done on this video. The whole thing is basically like done except for adding music which is crazy i'm so ahead i have my video done for this saturday and then this one is like almost done too i'm like i'm never this ahead this is this is wild but okay so i'm gonna go on a walk because it's sunny out i just need to get outside like i'm just dying to i feel like my mood is just like not amazing and it could be so good if the sun was hitting me you know so i can actually listen to music epidemic sounds has an app so i can listen to music potential songs for this video while I walk. Um, and I need to return my newly items too. So we'll walk to the UPS store. I like wanna keep this sweater. I really like this one. Okay you guys, Monica's showing me this cool condo that she found let's uh let's take a look first mm, check that out super nice so here is the entrance little hallway here cork floors which is kind of interesting you don't see that every day you go down this hallway also washer and dryer anyway go down this hallway and bam it's a corner unit with just insane water view look at that okay we'll go over exposed for a minute so you guys could see here is the kitchen the lighting in here is just so good and the water wow the view is amazing oh wow and then gas fireplace which is always cozy i love that i was saying when you sit down you don't see the top of that building you know oh it's just kind of nice Oh yeah, the top of the building is like not a vibe, but whatever. Yeah. It feels good in here. I know. Okay. The washer and dryer <clears throat> are in like that kind of closet. Oh yeah, I saw that. Here's a bathroom. Interesting. Yeah, I would just put in a new vanity here. It's interesting because this only comes out to here. I see why they did that. Yeah. You could do like some custom cabinet and have someone do. Yeah, and different flooring. Yeah. And like redo the shower too, probably. Okay, and then check out the bedroom. Oh, a balcony? Oh my god. Is that a balcony? Yeah. Oh, wow, you had to step up to it. How funny. Isn't it fun? This is cool. Could have a little barbecue. Ta da. It's good vibes. Oh, they have a Libra fridge. Oh my god, this is just like our Palm Springs fridge. Yeah, it's just like a little shorter guy. That is really funny. I didn't expect to actually like this unit so much, but it's just like cozy and feels really homey. You no, know, right? It has a storage unit too. Really? Yeah, we should go check it out. This building has a hot tub and a sauna. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. Let's hit the gym. I'm not sore anymore, so it should be a good workout today. decided to get an early start on packing. Just the things in my kitchen I don't use very often. As I get boxes in the mail, I'm just going to pack things into them. Maybe I won't even have to buy any moving supplies. I didn't buy this bubble wrap. I mean, technically I did, but this was from my CB2 order and I just saved it. And it's 
so much more convenient. <laughs> All right, guys. The weather is not giving spring, but my shirt is. So I've got some editing to do today. I'm also testing out some AI tools that will hopefully save me some time. There's just so many now that I'm like, I think it's worth taking the time to just research them because you get a you get a return on that investment. Like the time that can be saved with some of these is just insane. Or some of them just make the video a lot better. I'm bold. Interesting. Okay, it's almost 5 30. I'm gonna go to an event There's not that many like influencer type events in Seattle compared to LA and New York But every once in a while there is one and I was not gonna actually go to this because Monica and I were gonna go together But she had to leave town randomly today and I was just like eh, I kind of don't really want to go that much I just anyway, so I was like eh, I'll just like have a self-care evening like whatever But I realized this event is literally three blocks away from me three blocks It's just too convenient and it is a cool brand. So I'm like, okay, I'll do it I'll go to this dinner solo Don't know what I'm getting myself into. I have no idea who's gonna be there, but hopefully people are cool and nice Okay, let's go like honestly part of me doesn't feel like doing this I would rather like have a chill self-care evening go on a walk make dinner and do my nails or something But part of me is like well, there's not events here that often and it would be cool to me if there are more Seattle influencers Like I literally don't even know if there are any I know a few but I'm like are there that many? I don't know. I don't really peruse and search or seek that out, but I feel like this is just something's telling me like just go and see you know it was a fun time look at this sunset i love these long days i actually learned a thing or two about finances at that i mean it was jp morgan so of course i did <laughs> and for my next trick we're gonna make my fire alarm stop chirping and attempt to do my nails for the first time in years myself kind of thinking i saw online on tiktok people doing their own sort of gel extensions. They make it look easy, but I know it is not easy, but I'm still gonna try. This is so nice. I went to that event, but I'm still getting my self-care evening after all that I really was wanting. Also, I decided that I like these pants because two people complimented them. And also I just like them now. I wasn't sure, but now I'm like, yeah. I've been so into like, sort of like trying to glow up, honestly. It's just fun trying new makeup products, new like beauty treatments and everything. I just haven't like gotten into that for a while. I really have just been doing the same old things and traveling and not having time to like, but I, I wanna try some, some fun stuff. So I booked a brow lamination appointment. I'm gonna try getting my brows laminated because I have such flat, straight eyebrows and I've always wanted to see what they would look like. Just a little more art and shaped perfectly. Like I found this girl on Instagram that I'm just gonna put my full trust in. So on Saturday, we're gonna get them laminated and see how they are. It's gonna be good. Let's do this. 